Hello Intune friends! In today's video we're gonna do something really really cool. We're gonna marry two techniques, Remediation Script, that's the feature in Intune, and with Winget. And I have videos about both those two separated. Now we're putting them together. And what we're gonna do with it is that we're gonna use Remediation Script to look if a software isn't the latest, and if it isn't the latest with the detection script, we're going to run the remediation script to fix it. And what we're going to use to fix it is winget. And winget is a command line tool in Windows to manage software, to look for updates, install, uninstall. If you have been using Linux, you have seen that with JUM and APT, and in Mac OS, you have Homebrew. And in Windows, you have some other tools, but Winget is built in in the later versions. If you run Windows 11 or later Windows 10, you have it already on the machine. So I'll repeat again what we do. We will create two scripts, one detection script that will look if uh, VLC is the latest version. If it is the latest version or not even installed, it's stopped there. If it is installed with VLC, but it's not the latest version that exists on the internet, then it's going to go out and call the detection script. And the detection script is going to go out with Winget and get the latest version and install it. So really cool and really useful. You can use that on a lot of applications. We use VLC here as an example. So let's start to speak a bit about uh, what Winget is. Again, I have videos about both Winget and Remediation Script, but you don't have to watch them to follow this video. I'm going to re-explain them here. So let's start with that. So I'm going to open a terminal. You can open a CMD or a PowerShell, whatever you want. And if we look here, if I just type Winget, what does it do? So with Winget, you can install. You can even search for software, the ID, you can upgrade. In this video, we're just going to use list and upgrade. We're going to use list in the detection script to see which version is installed and if it's the latest. And in the remediation script, we're going to use upgrade. So we can look a bit how that works. So I'm going to clear host. I'm just going to make it uh, more easy to see. So if we do winget list if i just hit enter here it's going to show all my software and tell me what needs update i'm just interested in um, uh, we said vlc right so i do dash e that means the exact version and dash dash id and we wanted v video lan dot vlc and how can you know and i see video LAN, I put the D there. How can you know these IDs? Because, uh, well, some you can figure out, but you can't be sure. And the reason why I put, uh, and there's a website, I'm going to go there. I just wanted to explain why this dash E, which is uh, exact. If we don't put dash E, it's going to take this name and say all packages that looks like this, but E exact, it has to be exactly this one. And how do I know it's this? Well, I have been to a website. You can use winget search to get this ID also. But if you go to winget.run, and I'm going to put that in the description, and then search for all the software that you're interested in. This time we're interested in VLC. So here it's a lot of different one, but we want the basic one here. So here is the install command for uh, uh, VLC. It, and that always brings the latest version. If you want the um, previous version, for some reason, you can copy that here. Actually, it's just add a dash V and the version number. So here you get the ID. So you could search, well, a lot of uh, software, um, anything like uh, 7-zip, it's there too, and a lot of software you can find here. And since we are here on the browser, the list command that we just looked at, it takes a lot of parameters. So we were using ID to limit for the application. We were using also E, the exact. We could have done the dash dash exact also. It's good to have this one, dash dash accept source agreement. I didn't need it because I have already run this uh, command, but I'm going to put it here anyway. That's a good, especially since we're going to put that in a script and we don't want the user to prompt to accept source agreement. So if I run this on my machine, winget list dash e for exact version dash dash id and the id of the software, it's going to look locally on my machine and um, tell if there's an update. 
So now it run. And if it doesn't show any column saying available, then you have the latest. So this one have the latest. And we're going to use that in the script. If you already have the latest, the remediation script is going to, um, the detection script of the remediation script going to end and say, hey, all is good. We don't have to do anything more. But let me give you an example where um, I don't have the latest version. So I do an arrow up. I'm just going to change the ID. And I Microsoft Teams. And the, the ID of that I happen to know. It's Microsoft Teams. So if we run this one, same command as for um, VLC, except for the ID, you're going to see it's differ a bit. I have available. That means locally I have version 1.4 installed but there is a version 1.5. So the logic gonna be our detection script gonna run this command, then it's gonna search for the word available. If available exists, that means there is a new version. Then it's gonna call the remediation script to run when get to actually up, upgrade, update, but the command is called upgrade. So that's the logic of the script. So let's start to do the script. And we, we're coming back to these two scenarios here. Video LAN and Teams, where it's an update or not an update, because the logic builds on that. So let's open PowerShell ISC. I'm going to run it as admin. Yes. See if I will remember to uh, zoom in before I start to do the code. Zoom in. I'll do it um, uh, three times. We're going to add a lot of comments, but I already know that it's going to be in the middle sort of stuff uh, where we check for the version. So I put two comments here. Check locally installed VLC version because we want to check if it needs an update or not. So I'm going to create a variable. Uh, I always prefix them with, with dbn. Local installed, installed uh, software which in our case is going to be the uh, VLC. Then we run th that uh, command winget and store that in this variable. I'm going to show why after. So we do winget. We can do .exe. You don't have to. List. And we said dash e and the uh, dash dash id. And it was uh, video, video LAN dot VLC and this extra um, accept, I forgot what it was. I have it in my clipboard, I do Windows V. It was dash dash accept source agreement. So we run that. So if we run only this part, for example, and PowerShell adds everything in only one line. So that didn't work at all. Uh, video on VLC. Oh, stupid. I, run, I, I should run only this part, sorry. Here, I was running the whole script and then it put it in the variable. So here it actually put it as I like it, it put it on three lines. Sometimes it put it in one line. Okay, perfect. So we wanna look if available is here and it's not. So that means we have the latest version. Uh, and now, so follow me here. Now we're going to take the value here, GBN local install software we have here, and then we're going to look for this one here. If this one says available, then there is an update. If this one says version, then it's no update, then we can quit. If it says nothing, then video uh, VLC is not even installed. So we have three criteria, and it's only if this one says available. Let me go back here. If the sec on the first line, if the, if the one says available here, then there is an update. I hope the logic uh, goes through. So we're going to do another variable that we can call the GBN. Can I spell the available? I can't. Uh, well, maybe I can, but I want to be sure. Ava available. Difficult word. Uh, I hope it's something like this. Avail. Abel. Avail, Abel. Okay, I think I got it right. So this one's going to be equal to, and this is going to be a bit uh, difficult, but we're going to split what, oh, if I can write that also, 
we're going to split what? We're going to split this one. So it's going to uh, divide everything. And what do we want? Well, we don't want the first line. So here in brackets, we're going to tell which line we want. If we take line one, we're probably going to get, you know, a character like that. So it's better we start from the bottom. If we take minus one, we're going to get this line. And we don't want that. If we take minus two, we're going to get all these dashes. We don't want that either. If we take minus three, then we get the, this line. So the third one from the bottom. And then which do we want the first value? Uh, minus one. No, we want minus two. So we have again to do bracket here and minus two. That might be a been a bit difficult to follow but I'm going to put this script in the description of the video so you can copy this and use this will always work okay so now we have the value of dbn available let's run this one and when we have video LAN it should say uh, version when if I change this to Microsoft Teams it should say uh, available. So let's see if this checks out. We can even do a uh, right host. I'm going to remove this one later, but since variable, they aren't displayed. So we write this to the host. So here I'm going to clear this one. So here, since we do video LAN uh, VLC, we, this value should be uh, a version, right? Let's run it and see. some time because it's run winget version so this means we have the latest installed already if we change this to um, Microsoft Teams Microsoft Teams and run the same it should say available here instead of version available perfect if we change it to something that doesn't exist this one should be totally empty or, or like yeah, empty. So we have three scenarios. If the software doesn't exist, it exists, but it's not the um, latest version and exists and is the latest version. Video LAN. Wow, I have a problem to type today. VLC. Okay, perfect. So now we don't need to write out that. Now we can do a check here. Uh, check if needs uh, update and the only way it needs update it's if this one is uh, available is the value so we can do an if and then we can check if this value copy is equal and uh, could be a good idea with my weak spelling skills to copy this one I copy it, copy and paste. So if this one is available, and I put some curly brackets here, then we know we need an update. So we can do write host uh, VLC is installed, but not the latest version. There needs needs an update, and the most important of all, and this is for uh, all remediation script. If you want this detection script to do something after, you must exit with one. So if this script exit with one, then uh, Intune knows. Aha! I need to do something and run the remediation script. This is the detection script that we are uh, writing right now, and. I'm going to copy this because they're going to be pretty similar and put uh, two more. So one is if this one says version, then it's installed and have the latest version like we, we saw. So VLC is installed and is the latest version the latest version and then we exit with zero is this one exit with zero the detection script uh, exit with zero then the um, remediation script won't run then all is good and we have another uh, scenario that is if um, 
uh, the software isn't installed at all, then this becomes empty. So we can just do a boolean here and do a check. If this one doesn't exist when it's empty, then, uh, then we're fine too. Then we exit with zero and we can just say VLC is not installed. And if it's not installed, well, there's nothing to update. So our scripts start to look pretty good now. We are missing a few things. Uh, you know that I like to put comments. So we're going to tell what this script does. Um, I'm called this software uh, detection script uh, to see if uh, software needs an update. Okay, author, I put myself and date uh, 6 January 2023 now. Uh, I would also want some uh, variables and the reason for the variables, this script is pretty good as it is now, but it would be nice to be able to use this script for more than the VLC and that we just change in one place. So I will call this variables and we can call GBN software, no app ID maybe, app ID. Uh, and for this one, it's going to be this one. But then we only need to change in one place, which is actually the case now, but it's higher up in the script. And then I'm going to replace this one, video land, in the command with this variable. So if we wanted another software like Teams, Microsoft Teams, we could just change that here. And I would like another one, GBN app friendly name and that's in order that we can put instead of hard code VLC here we can just put the name so um, let's call this one v ah, let's call it uh, video video land and then instead of here we put uh, the variable here so we're going to print this one if that works and we still need our uh, quotation here and the same goes here quotation we put our variable and same goes here and we put our variable here so why do we do that again if we want to do this for 7-zip or something we can just put the app id here and 7-zip and we can reuse this uh, uh, script for exactly well installed software version try to not put vlc in the comments um so if we run this well let's save this one save as so i have a uh, gbn maybe i put it on the powershell and let's call this one gbn oops GBN um, update VLC uh, and this is uh, detection, yeah, our detection script. Run this and test. And again, on my machine, I already have VLC so uh, with the latest version. So let's hope the script gives that. So VL, uh, VideoLearn VLC is installed and it's the latest version. I see here it do two uh, spaces, so it seems I don't need to have a space here then. Then I'm removing that, it add that by default. Oh, actually here I had, didn't have it. Okay, so this one is good. Uh, one problem though, that we can address directly to finish this script, is that uh, I can see Winget.exe as running as my user, but if I'm running as system, it, it can't find it. And guess what? Intune run as system. Okay, let me open a CMD for that to show. I run as administrator. So if we type who am I? 
you see that I am a local user on this machine called GBN. So if I type winget, we have seen, that works, it finds it. I do CLS, but if I run the psxec and run as uh, interactive as system and start another CMD, I'll agree with this uh, tool. If I now type who am I, you see I am system. That's the same account as Intune run as when it's installed. Does this uh, account find winget? No, it doesn't. So we have to take account to that in our script. If you upload this script and run as uh, uh, in Intune and say run a system, the command's not gonna work as we want. So how can we fix that? Well, I have uh, pre-coded that part, but I'm gonna explain it. So here under Intune packages, I have that already. So let me open that. I can open that in Red++ just to copy over. So if I copy this part, I'm gonna bring that in and explain what it does. So I'm gonna put that at the very top. I'm just gonna put uh, uh, help system to to find the uh, winget.exe. I always get a capital E there. So I'm gonna paste in these rows and I'm gonna mark them here. So it's these rows here. So what it does is that I create the variable dbn winget resolve, who try to resolve the path to winget. And the part that you don't know, it's this asterisk here, the version. So if we run only this part, here, it's going to resolve to this version here, 1.18, but that can change with an update. So now we know the path to winget. Then we create another variable, take the output of this one, which is this one down here. And again, we don't want path and the dash dash. So we do minus one, which says we take just the last line. And then we again, we split this one with the parent. So we take the output which is this one again, and we remove the parent, which is winget. So that means we get this left. And if we are here in this folder and then run winget later down here, then we know it's going to work. And we then let set location. It's the same as CD in uh, um, command line. So let's run this. If we run these four lines, you're going to see that I'm going to change from Windows System 32 to this set location, this uh, path, which is going to be this one here. So let's run this. So you see now, my path is now down here. And if I do uh, ls, you see winget is here. So that's how the script can find it. Okay, it's uh, getting pretty long here, but now this script is done. So we can save this one. So the next script that we need, going to go a lot faster. So I keep this one up and open because we're gonna take a lot of part from it. Do a control N. I'll actually copy um, everything here from line 14 to the next one. And we're gonna modify some part. So this script runs only if we have exit this one with uh, one. And this one only exit with one if we find a variable. And a variable is only visible if there is an update. So that's the logic. I hope that makes sense. So this is not a software detection script. This is software remediation script uh, to update the software. And again, I try to not say which software so this script can be used for all software. Then this part we leave the same. So it finds uh, winget because we need that again for upgrade. Last time we use it to list. Variables, we don't need the friendly name this time so we can remove that. Okay, so now we just need to run one liner to upgrade. And how do you upgrade? Let me go back to the terminal. So if I wanted to upgrade the uh, Windows Teams, I would just run winget, and then it's upgrade, not, uh, uh, not uh, update. So if I just run winget upgrade without any parameters, it's going to show all the software that needs to be updated. And on my system, it's a few who needs to be updated here. So if we run the one we need, so we only want to run uh, update uh, VLC, but on this one, let me do Teams. 
Or actually, let me do the VLC, even though mine doesn't need it. Dash E, dash dash ID, and uh, then we put the ID whose video LAN dot VLC. And let's go to the documentation and uh, look for um, uh, upgrade and see if there are any switches we might need also. So here's the documentation. I'm going to put all these links in the description. Pretty easy to find. We want it silent and we want to accept all the agreements. So let's copy in those. You can do dash H. I don't think that I don't like that name, so I prefer the silent. It makes more sense to me. So if we do dash silent, or actually I move back to the script now because I'm not going to run this on uh, my system anyway. I copy this. Let's go back to the script. So here we just want to run uh, winget, upgrade, silent. And then let's take these others. We want accept package agreement. Again, we want it totally silent. And we go back. We also want accept source agreement. So here it looks like we have something pretty good. I'm just, I'm, Let's put XA, we don't need that. I just want to verify. I got afraid that maybe I forgot something in this script. I did, I think. Yes, uh, we need a dot backslash to tell Winget to run from where it stands, because it stands here. If we don't put dot backslash, it's going to search Winget in the path and um, look a bit everywhere. No, we want it to run here. So a mistake for me. Other than that, it looked good. So if we go back here, we want the same. We want dot backslash to run this one. We want to upgrade. What do we want to upgrade? Video LAN. We know that because we got the available before. We want it to be silent. We want it to accept. I think we got all the switches that we need. We can look at some others. Interactive, we don't want. We want it silent. Version, no, we want the latest. Uh, location, we could add a log file. Include unknown, no verbose logging. We don't do that. Okay, we are good. So this should be a winner. So you see that this one went a bit faster. Let's save this one. And it's going to get the same name as the previous one. But instead of detection, we put remediation. Remediation. Another word I have problem to pronounce and spell. So we got our two scripts. So now we are, we are done. Um, Looks like I could put a better description here. Right? Run uh, upgrade of the software. And if you catch the, something that I should have done, is that I should not type this out. I should be using the variable. I mean, you can type it out, but then this be so much easier to change later. Well, it's only in one place, so not that much different. But you can use this script and just update this part and you have an update package for any of the software in um, Winget. I should say do that some software will not allow an update on the way it have been um, installed. So for example, this one is missing now. Oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, I wanted to clear the screen. If I do a, um, a Winget, upgrade e id um, let's do team viewer team viewer that was installed with an msi on my my uh, machine and what the uh, winget actually give me is an exe file so it's not going to allow this so let's see when we run here a newer version was found but the install technology is different from the current so if i uninstall Team viewer and install team viewer with winget install or use the exe file then this command would work so it doesn't work on all you have to test it first if you install it with winget you can for sure update it with winget vlc i installed with uh, msi and it actually works uh, with um, winget also okay so we, now we shift gears no more coding now we go back to the intune console 
And here, to find the remediation script, it's very difficult. I've been there so many times now, so I can find it in my sleep. But in the beginning, I was like, where? Because it's no logic. You have to go to reports. And after reports, you have to go to endpoint analytics. And here, you see proactive remediation. So we're going to go here. So in the previous video, we did the detection and remediation of removing old uh, Firefox. You also get these two for free from uh, Microsoft. I haven't deployed them. I think they could be actually good. But OK, let's create a new script package here. So it needs a name. We can say update VLC to the latest version. And we can put a, a lot better description here. I don't want to uh, drag on this video for so long. And my name shows up here. If I modify the script, it's going to do version 2. Settings. So here we have two things to browse. The detection script and the remediation script. I, have, uh, I haven't cleaned my script, so they might show a bit uh, uh, garbage character in the beginning. So under GBN, I have PowerShell. And we have first, we have our uh, VLC detection script. Yeah, I get this um, character. Let me clean them. So I'll, I'll clean them in uh, uh, Notepad++. It's an encoding issue. So if you get that, you, if you don't get that, you can just relax while I do this. I'm going to open both these in uh, Notepad++. But if you get the uh, garbage characters me, you can clean them if you want. So what I do is here under uh, Notepad++, I go encoding. Instead of UTF-8 boom, I just go UTF-8. And then I save this one. I do the same for the remediation script. I go encoding. I put only UTF-8 and save it. OK, back to the console. So I'm going to upload this file again, the detection script. And now the garbage characters are gone. So here is our script, and then I'm going to upload our remediation script as well. It's this one, and that's the one who just run the update. So the only so here it'd be easier to explain what I've explained a few times already. So the detection script will look if available shows up. If there is available, that means there is a, a version to install. Then we exit with one. If this script exit with one, then it will run this script. If it exits with zero, like if it's already installed in latest version, exit with zero, then this one won't run. So the remediation script only runs if this one exit with one, and that means it needs an update. Okay, so let's go next. Uh, scope tag, I don't use scope tag, and it looks like it already got all the scope tags. Okay, good. So we can skip that part. Then we go assignment. I'm going to assign it to, to all my machines. So I don't know why I went here, because if you want to assign all, you click here and all device. And here comes how often you can run it. You can run it every hour. Uh, you can run it hourly and only once. I'm going to run it hourly every hour. But before I do that, I just want to show you my two machines. So here is one. Let me put the, that one here and see if I can add the, the other one on the side. Mm, not that great. So if we do win get upgrade, then we can see which software this one needs to upgrade. So this one uh, need to upgrade VLC because there is a version 3.0.18 at this recording. So this one should run the script. Then this one we upgrade already got the VLC 3.0.18. So it will not ask for that update. So these are the only two machines I have. So that means our script's going to run on both. It's going to say not needed to update here. And it's going to say needed and run the remediation script and hopefully updated it. If we have done a mistake, we will correct it. So let's run this every hour and let's hope that happens soon. So now we create this uh, remediation script. And you see here, uh, 
we have this one, update VLC to the latest. And so far, of course, it haven't run, but we're going to see how many totally have remediated and uh, how many had issue and not issue. So one should be without issue and one should have an issue. So I'm going to post the um, video here now and come back when it have run within one hour. Hello, I'm still waiting for it uh, to run, but I think I noticed I did a mistake. I went a bit too fast. I wanted to run as a 64 bit and I think I probably glanced too quick uh, down here. Yep, we want to run uh, in 64 bit PowerShell. And I also, while waiting for it, saw that this uh, garbage character actually always happen when you use PowerShell ISE. So if you followed, you probably had the same issue as me and had to go to uh, Notepad++ to clean it. Okay, so uh, sorry for that. You definitely want to run this in a 64-bit PowerShell, not 32-bit. There's no reason to run that. I think I've zoomed in too much, so I missed that one. Okay, now uh, I pause the video and go back and wait until my clients got it. Okay, come welcome back here. So I waited a pretty long time and it have run on uh, one and re remediated. It have actually run on both, but for some reason I haven't updated here yet. It takes some time and I don't want to sit here an hour and wait. I'm a bit lazy. Sorry for that, but it's going to show up here. So if, if I check back in one or two hours, but we can already tell that it have remediated one and we can, I have looked on my client. It is the new version of VLC. So if I click on this one, get some more information, this will also update. It says pending, but it's probably gathering more data, device status. So here it's actually say that the issue is fixed on this one and I think it ran on this one too. One important thing though is that there are more columns that you will want to add here. So click on columns. I'll add everyone, but not all will um, give data and apply. And then you can get more information on the, what it says from the script. Now, this one I probably run twice. If not, it would not say it's installed. It should have said it's not installed and then ran but this one have been uh, running. So we'll, if I would have waited long, I would have given more data, but trust me on this one, it's gonna show up here later that one without issue, one with issue, and it already updated total remediated. If it's not, if it says with issue and the issue recurred, that means our remediation script probably don't work, but that wasn't the case. So let's go back. I think it's this one who didn't had. Yes, here I ran. So first when I run upgrade, it didn't had a 3.0.18, um, it had 17. And then I run it a bit later and it had updated to 3.0.18. So our script is really working. And this is really, really useful. So I'll, I'll show it again. So the remediation script, you copy this one, if you need for another software, you just take another ID. And where do you find the ID? Well, you can find it here on winget.run. So any software that you're interested in. So you can go to winget.run and search on any software. So if we do Chrome, for example, we can get the Google Chrome. And then we get the ID, which is google.chrome. Very often you can... Uh, find out which one that is logically, but not always. Um, and if we go back to the script, you put that in there. That's the uh, only thing you need to change. You also need to change in the detection script here at the variables. Actually, um, it wasn't the whole point to have the variables at the very top. I think so. I'll cut that and put them at the very top because then it's easier when you change. So if you wanted um, Google Chrome, you would just put google.chrome and then you put Google Chrome here or whatever name you want. And the same up here. Let's put the variable at the top on this one too. That makes more sense. And paste that here. Then you just uh, change here to um, google.chrome. You save them, probably not with the name VLC, you save Chrome. You create another remediation script. So if we go back to our console, 
actually let me retake that one as again you go report because it's so diff uh, difficult to get the report endpoint analytic proactive remediation you just create the script package you give it a name google chrome in that case right you browse your two script the detection script the first one and then the remediation script and here the one i missed the first then click script uh, run in 64-bit we don't sign it um, if for some reason you are installing a software that runs under the user's profile yes then you can run here and then you have no problem to find winget the where i added the extra script you could remove that part but most often you install for system if it's under program files that was a long video but I think this is really cool. I use this a lot because you can update a lot of software without needing to uh, uh, Intune Win package it. It's just script, it's just text. Uh, so it's a very good tool. So if you follow along this far, thank you very much. See you in another video.